Sam starts us off with a forest, while John plays a command tower, Tom plays a tapped watery grave, and Extra plays a command tower of his own before casting Vampire of the Dire Moon. Sam then takes his second turn, playing an island and tapping two to cast Ozolith the Shattered Spire. He then passes to John. John plays a Spire Garden, then casts PNLR, Consult of a Revival, before passing to Tom. Tom plays a Tainted Peak for turn, plays Dead Eye Tracker, and passes to Extra. Extra plays a Bright Climb Pathway for turn, then casts Talisman of Hierarchy, before hitting Sam for one with Vampire of the Dire Moon, and gaining one life in the process. He then passes it back to Sam. Sam plays a forest, and casts Herald's Horn, naming Merfolk as it enters. He passes to John. John plays a Sundown Pass, then casts Witty Roastmaster. He attacks Sam with Pia, then passes the turn. On his turn, Tom plays a Mountain, followed by Malcolm, King-Eyed Navigator. He swings Deadeye Tracker at Sam, and on combat damage, Malcolm triggers, making a treasure. Tom then passes to Extra. Extra plays a Tainted Field for turn, then casts his commander, Clavileno, First of the Blessed. He attacks Tom with Vampire of the Dire Moon, and Clavileno triggers, with Extra choosing the attacking vampire for the effect. Extra then passes the turn to Sam. On Sam's upkeep, Harold's Horn triggers, and Sam looks at the top card of his library, hoping for a Morphle. The trigger whips unfortunately, so Sam draws as normal, and plays a forest in his main phase. He casts Stony Brook Banneteer, followed up by a Jade Light Spelunker for X equals 4. Spelunker's ETB triggers, and it explores 4 times. Sam reveals 2 lands, putting them into his hand, then reveals a spell, which he decides to keep on top, and reveals it a second time to the final explore trigger. Putting a total of 4 1 1 counters on Jade Light Spelunker, thanks to Ocelot, Sam then passes to John. John plays a mountain and casts the back rack, Passionate Archaeologist, followed by Prosperous Innkeeper, making a treasure. Witty Roastmaster also triggers, dealing one to John's opponent. John passes. Tom starts off by casting Shared Animosity. He then goes to combat, swinging Malcolm at Sam and Dead Eye Tracker at Extra, throwing Shared Animosity and giving both pirates plus one plus zero. Both reaches connect and Tom makes two treasures thanks to Malcolm. He then passes to Extra. Extra plays a Martyr of Dusk, then attacks Tom with both Clevelino and Vampire of the Dire Moon, this time targeting Clevelino with his own trigger. In his second main, Extra casts Red of Oblivion, taking one damage to the Talisman of Hierarchy and stacking Vampire of the Dire Moon as an additional cost. He exiles Sam's Ozolith as the spell resolves, and draws a card, and makes a tapped 4-3 demon with flying, thanks to the vampire's death trigger. Extra plays the planes, then passes to Sam. On Sam's upkeep, he whiffs his horn trigger a second time. He plays an island for turn, he casts Wild Growth Walker, followed by a hardened scales. He casts his commander, Hawkball of the Surging Soul. He goes to combat, and Hawkball triggers, letting each of Sam's merfolk explore. Benetir and Spelunker each reveal a spell that Sam sends to the Ark, and Hawkball also reveals a spell, but Sam decides to keep it on top. Each of the Merfolk then gets two 1 1 counters thanks to Hardened Scales, triggering Wildgrove Walker three times, with it getting a total of six 1 1 counters and Sam gaining nine life. Sam then swings the Spelunker at John and the Benetir at Tom before passing the turn. John plays the planes then cast his own commander, Pantlaza, Sun Favored. Pantlaza, Innkeeper, and Roastmaster all trigger, and John gains one life, deals one damage to each opponent, then reveals cards for the top until he discovers a Guardian of Gearper, which he casts for free, dealing three damage to Sam, thanks to Passionate Archaeologist, and making a 1-1 Thopter with Pia. Thanks to Guardian of Gearper and the Thopter both entering, John gains two and deals two to his opponents, thanks to the Innkeeper and Roastmaster. Then he exiles Puntlaza with Guardian of Gear for ZTB. He attacks Tom with the Witty Roastmaster and Extra with Pia. 
and neither declare any blocks. On John's end step, Funflaza re-enters from exile, triggering Innkeeper, Roastmaster, and its own ETB. John gains one, deals one to his opponents, and discovers Outerworldly Journey, which he casts for free, targeting Funflaza. He also deals two damage to Sam, thanks to Passionate Archaeologist, and makes another adopter with Pia, triggering Innkeeper and Roastmaster a final time. The turn then finally moves to Tom. Tom casts his own commander, Admiral Brass, and a sinkable, milling four as it enters. He then goes to combat, triggering Admiral Brass's second ability, he reanimates Admiral Beckett Brass as a hasty 4-4 with a finality counter on it. He swings Malcolm at Sam and Beckett Brass at extra, with both getting plus one plus zero thanks to shared animosity. Both creatures remain unblocked, so Tom makes two more treasures on the combat damage thanks to Malcolm. In his second main, John decides to destroy Sam's Wildgrove Walker with Feed the Swarm, losing two life. Tom then passes, and on his end step, Fun Plaza returns for the second time, triggering Prosperous Innkeeper, winning Roastmaster and herself. John discovers and casts an Impact Trevors, dealing two to Sam with Passionate Archaeologist and making a top three with Pia, triggering Innkeeper and Roastmaster an additional time. Extra then gets to take his turn. Extra first casts a nesting Dovehawk, then follows it with a Viscera Seer. He goes to combat, and Dovehawk triggers, populating the demon token and putting a 1 1 counter on itself in the process. Extra swings the original demon and the martyr at John, choosing the martyr for the Cleveleno trigger this time round. John blocks the demon with a Thopter and the martyr with Pantlaza, with Extra sacking the martyr to Viscera Seer in response. Drawing a card, making a tapped 4 3 demon and a 1 1 vampire. Nesting Dovehawk also gets two more 1 1 counters thanks to the token's entry. Viscera Seer's ability then resolves, and Extra scries 1. Keep it again on top, he passes. On Sam's upkeep, Harold's horn whiffs again. Sam goes directly to combat, throwing a hackball and letting his merfolk explore again. Benetir flips a spell to the yard. Spelunker puts a land into Sam's hand and Hawkball flips a spell that Sam keeps on top. Vanadier and Hawkball then each get two 1-1 one -one counters thanks to Hard and Scales. Sam then declares attackers, swinging everything at John and triggering Hawkball's second ability, letting him draw a card. John blocks Hawkball and Spelunker with a Thopter each and takes the rest. In a second main, Sam plays an island for turn. He then casts Reflection of Lajara, naming Merfolk. He follows it up with a Deep Root Elite, making a copy with Reflection. The copy enters first and triggers upon the original entering, putting two one more counters on the original. Sam passes. John plays the planes, then casts Garruk's Uprising, drawing a card due to having a creature with four greater power. He flickers all of his creatures with Eerie Interlude, and on their return, Innkeeper and Roastmaster's triggered abilities each trigger four times, letting John gain four and dealing four to his opponents, while Impact Tremors triggers five times, dealing five to John's opponents. The Innkeeper also makes a treasure as it enters. John draws thanks to Uprising and discovers four with Pantalaza's ETB, which is a Molten Echoes this time. John casts Molten Echoes, naming Dinosaur, and dealing four to Extra with Passion and Archaeologist, and making a Thopter with Pia. Innkeeper, Roastmaster, and Impact Tremors all trigger once again. He then exiles Pantlaza until the next end step with Guardian of Europer, then the turn finally moves to Tom. Tom plays an island, then casts Pact of the Serpent for X equals 4, naming Pirate. He goes to combat, triggering his commander, putting a Protein Raider onto the field as a 4-4 with haste. He attacks Sam with Malcolm and John with everything else triggering animosity and pumping all of his creatures by plus four plus zero. John blocks Protein with a Thopter, Admiral Brass with a Guardian of Gearper, and Beckett Brass with Innkeeper. Malcolm then triggers on combat damage, making two treasures. Tom then casts Dire Fleet Daredevil in a last ditch attempt to save the game, sacking Deadeye Tracker to exile Molten Echoes, then passes the turn. Pantlaza then enters, and unfortunately discovers a scroll shift, which is enough to ping all of John's opponents to death with the stack triggers. 
letting John snatch a convincing victory.